Okay, so now you should have a, a result from your calculation. You should have a prediction for how far the car should go off the table, knowing the velocity on the table, the horizontal velocity, and you should be able to calculate how far off the table it went. Okay, now we're gonna see if we, uh, what we actually get. And, and you can compare that to what you found and, and then draw some conclusions. Okay, so we're gonna use the same car again. We're gonna start at the same place again. I'm not gonna measure the velocity on the table. I'm going to, instead, I'm going to measure what's going, how far it goes off the on the floor. And you can see there's a meter stick down there and I'm going to mark that. Okay. So let's try that. Okay. So here we go. And then let her rip. Ready? Ready? Oh, right about here. Okay, so I'm just looking at this. Let's do it one more time and we'll get, we'll get two results that way in case there was some kind of a problem. I have about 0.52 meters right now. Oh, about the same place. So I got two about the, almost exactly the same place. So it went off the table. The actual distance, the actual distance on the horizontal depth, I'll just say actual, whoops. Whoop, well, I'm not gonna say that. Let's say actual distance, okay, from the jump was 0.52 meters. That was the actual, okay? So that's the horizontal jump. Now, how does that compare to what you found in your calculation? And if it's different, which, is it smaller or bigger? Than the calculated distance and if you if if depending on whether it's small or bigger can you explain why